Hello and welcome to Picking Principles. Today I have this unbranded lock and the reason I'm showing you this today is that keyway look is very similar to the keyway that I showed you in video 35 on the Wiser lock. In fact I have it here. So we have the same size lock with essentially the same looking keyway a um, little bit paracentric maybe and this gold face on branded one maybe is a little bit thinner of a keyway. Um, I re recall mentioning in the other video on that wiser lock that it felt hollow and I wonder if it, the interior of it looked like this. Uh, you can see that there's definitely a savings on material here. Uh, it's not a solid body, it doesn't have an outer casing, just the holes to screw it into the door and uh, this little shielding to keep the driver pins in. So the wiser lock we were able to rake, and I suspect that this one's going to be no different. Oh, 40 thousandths fits in there as well. I wasn't sure if it would since it was a little bit more narrow. Let's see if we can rake this open. raked it open. Uh, but this isn't the raking channel, it's the picking channel. One of many I should say. So let's see if I can single pin pick this. And uh, without that body around it to give me the echo, I wonder if I'm going to be able to notice the clicks as well on this one. I presume it's also five pin. A little bit more difficult to hold. Let's go with some pretty heavy tension to start with. Mm, nothing on one. Mm. I just lifted two pretty high and nothing happened here. Let me drop it. I didn't hear any clicks, so I'm going to drop it back down. So nothing on one, nothing on two. Three is binding. Tightly. Oh, these pins don't move very easily. something wrong inside here even though it raked open pretty easy. Alright, starting over. Nothing on one, two, maybe a little click out of three there. Now four is binding. I feel like I got a click out of four and maybe nothing out of five there. One big click there. Nothing on two still. Little click on three. Nothing on four. Nothing on five. That time it was one. Nothing on two, three, four. Got stuck up on that. There we go. One, two, three, four. Got another click, maybe. I must have something overset. I'll run through this pin stack one more time. One. Oh, got a click out of two. Now three is really tight. I can hear stuff dropping. I can't really hold this damn lock. Should have put it in my vise. One, two, three. All right, four. There we go. And don't feel anything on five. One, two, three, four. And I'm getting nothing. If there's a fifth pin, I can't feel it. One, two, three, four, five. Nope. Let me loosen off. All right, so maybe this lock doesn't like heavy tension. One, two, 
Well, I just moved three all the way up and didn't feel a click. Definitely a click out of four. Okay, there's a fifth pin. I just had it set so high I didn't even. One, two, three, four, five. Binding on one. Got it. Set. Gonna click out of two. Nothing on three. Nothing on four. Nothing on five. Back to the beginning. One, two, three, four, five. Definitely something set. Let me drop one pin. Something was set too high. Okay, one dropped. nice and slow hmm. and there we have it well considering how easily that raked I think that just goes to show that even after two months of semi-regular picking I'm still quite the novice oh yeah we better keep this in so I don't lock it up when I'm trying to disassemble it I should do that. Let's bring this down. And take out the little spring. There we go. All right, nice big follower again. size. Not too big. This one should do the trick. Okay. So it dropped pin one, and look at the dust and rust on there. Two, three, four, and five, all out in this dusty old core. Absolutely nothing special about that core. Let's quickly get at these driver pins. Sorry, I'm going so slow. Three. Four. And the elusive fifth pin from earlier. There it is. All standard, just like it felt. So nothing special about the core, nothing special about the Bible. The only thing special about these pins is how dusty and rusty they are. But that's what happens with these old locks that are in use. Oh, don't tell me. I've been off camera that whole time. Might reshoot this if it doesn't look good in post. Anyway, that's all I've got for you today on this knockoff um, and light bodied lock where I'm dropping springs now. So thank you for watching. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. 
Thanks and have a great day.